Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. This is my weekly roadmap update video letting you know exactly what has changed from week to week on the run-up to 3.6 and beyond. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons. If you do want to support my channel and become a patron, follow the link in the description below, or you can become a member of my YouTube channel right here, clicking that join button and get your referral code in my videos. Don't forget to get entered for this giveaway for the Tumbrel Ranger 3 pack as well. This is still ongoing. The link is also below. So for 3.6, kicking off with the locations, the rest stop space station exterior variant, that is at 41 out of 57 tasks complete. Now last week it was 38 out of 56. So they have completed three and added another one. There is only 16 remaining. It's about 72% complete. For AI, the FPS cover usage version 1, that is at 3 out of 7. Last week it was 3 out of 8, so they have removed a task. Moving on to gameplay, the hover mode, so allowing vehicles to behave more naturally in atmosphere while hovering. That is almost done, that is at 2 out of 3. Last week it was 1 out of 3, so they've completed one. There's only one more to go, it's about 66% complete there. For weapon attachments, that is at 6 out of 14. Last week it was 6 out of 13, so they've only just added a task. For system misfires, that is at 16 out of 22. Again, last week it was 16 out of 21, so they've just added another one. For the transit system version 2, that is now at 24 out of 33. Last week that was 17 out of 33, so they have actually completed 7 tasks since last week. 9 are remaining, it is 73% complete. And the law system version 1 is at 26 out of 41. Last week it was 25 out of 39. So they've completed one, but they have added a further two more tasks. There is 15 more remaining there, and that is 64% complete. Now on ships and vehicles, the Origin 890 jump, that has made some great progress. That is now at 70 out of 131. Last week it was 51 out of 131. So they've completed 19 tasks. There is only 61 remaining now. It's about halfway through, 53%. Uh, the only other vehicle to change is the P-52 Merlin. That is at 3 out of 8 tasks complete. Last week it was only scheduled, so they, there's only 5 more to go now. Only about 37% through, but they're obviously making good progress. Now on to weapons and items. The Bayering S-38 pistol. That is at 14 out of 30. Last week it was 11 out of 29, so they've completed one. They have added another one. There's only 16 to go now. That's 46% complete. The Maxox Neutron Repeater ship weapons are at 5 out of 11. Last week it was 4 out of 11, so they've only completed one. The Claws and Verna Lumin 5, that really cool looking submachine gun with the green Claws and Verna detailing to it. That is at 9 out of 30. They've completed two more tasks since last week when it was 7 out of 30. 21 to go, only 30% uh, complete, but... I know they're making good progress on that one. Now, finally, for 3.6 and Cortec, the asynchronous disconnection refactor is now completed. That is in the polishing phase, which is great news. And the shield system tech replacement, that was scheduled last week. They have begun work now. It is at one out of eight. There are seven tasks remaining. It's only about 12.5% complete. So only one change in 3.7, 3.8, and 3.9. For 3.7 and locations, the rest stop space station interior variations, that is at 2 out of 49. Last week it was 2 out of 48, so they've only added a task. For 3.8 and locations, the new Babbage landing zone version 1 is at 1 out of 18, so they've begun work there. Again, last week it was scheduled. For 3.9 though, in locations, the Horizon landing zone, which is Crusader's landing zone, that was scheduled last week. It is now at 41 out of 101 tasks. So they've made a massive amount of progress there. Hopefully we'll see more on this location and New Babbage as well as time goes on. I'm very excited to see these other planets, locations, and moons. But with that said, that is your roadmap update for this week. Do join me again next week where we will see how close we are because let's face it, there's only a month to go now. As always, hit that subscribe button for more Star Citizen content and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan, where we discuss all these sort of things. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.